chair. Come and yell at me. <laughs> Yippee! Buddy, can uh, you spare a dime? I wanted to get a job. <laughs> this is my job. <laughs> Say, pal, can you spare a dime? God, what kind of town is this? Streets choked with traffic, muggers on every corner, and the subways jammed with bums begging for dimes. Well, if you feel that strongly about it, why don't you tell the mayor? You idiot. I am the mayor. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, hey, buddy, uh, can you give me a dime, huh? Sure, pal, here. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. And better luck with your next job, Mr. Haldeman. <laughs> it's the Sonny and Cher Comedy Hour. Tonight's special guests, Jack Palance and Ed McMahon, with Ted Fiddler and Billy Van. Ladies and gentlemen, Sonny and Cher. prison for a long time. Please promise you won't forget about me. Oh, forget about you. I could never forget about you. I love you, Charlie. Our love is, is deeper than the deepest ocean and, and higher than the tallest mountain, and it's stronger than this sturdy old oak tree. Needless to say, Lefty, it's um, very good to see you here. Yeah, well, it's, it's nice to see you too, Doc, you know what I mean? <laughs> now, I must explain something to you, Lefty. You see, before you can be uh, considered a free man, um, I must give you an examination to, to make sure that you are completely rehabilitated. Oh, yeah, sure, Doc. If I understand, OK. That's very good, Lefty. You're coming along very nicely. <laughs> Now, let me check the... Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. I see uh, you had a van with a bad temper. Ah. Uh. As a matter of fact, your first year here, did you not try to put a god in the paper shredder? <laughs> 
But uh, believe me, Doc, you know, I'm, oh, I'm totally changed now. I'm, I'm, I'm full with love. I'm, uh, in fact, I wrote my girl a letter, and I, and I told her that, uh, you know what I told her? <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> I told her, I said, look, if she still loves me, you know what I mean? To, to tie a, a little yellow ribbon in, a, in an old oak tree and we can live happily forever after and raise a family I love. <laughs> 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 That was beautiful. I know. That was lovely, like yeah. You <laughs> sound like you're 100% cured. Yeah, I know. However, <laughs> before I continue the examination, uh, there is one question I would like you to answer. Lefty, what would you do if there was no yellow ribbon in that tree? <laughs> if there was what? <laughs> Get hold of yourself. <laughs> I said, no yellow ribbon. It is a bare tree. <laughs> is it no yellow ribbon? That's what I said. <laughs> Well, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sure what I do, Doc. I, I, I you know, I, sometimes I, I, I get, I get, I get nervous. <laughs> I, I don't know what I do then, Doc. I, I... <laughs> you say, you say there's no yellow ribbon at all, Doc? No, 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 no. Ah! to keep you here, Lefty. <laughs> You're a free man. A free man? Yes, get out, get out. Okay, Doc, thank you. I hope you feel better. Oh, I feel okay. I don't like to leave too much now, you know what I mean? <laughs> This is the way Sunrise I... semester or what? Uh, <laughs> um, I'd like to, uh, let's, let, let's, uh, let's get into it. You want to? <laughs> no, folks, uh, we picked that song tonight for a particular reason. We're, we're just, it's kind of a lovey-dovey type of show. And, uh, well, it's a really a nice love song. You know, I like the way I did it. And besides that... <laughs> Besides that, you know, it, it's kind of interesting that the guy goes away for, for three years, you know, and, yeah. and when he comes back... It's a true story. Yeah, I know it. And, and when he comes back, his, his girlfriend still cares for him. Yeah. If that happened to us, if I went away for a long time, you know, would you still love me? Oh, yeah. But I'd do anything to get you away for three years. <laughs> you know what? 
No. No, really, there's people out there that's gonna think you meant that. Now tell them the truth, go ahead. I meant that. <laughs> You're at it again, huh? Yes. Okay. No. You know what that is? Uh, Sherry, you know what your trouble is? No, I was going to say trouble. Uh, tr trouble and problem at the same time, because right. you have them both. But, uh, <laughs> no, you know what your problem is? No, Sonny, what is it? Well, you, you, you fire a zinger here and there. You know why? No. You want to know why, Sherry? No. I'll tell you why, Sherry. You want me to tell you why? Yeah. I'll tell you why, Sherry, because you're trying to hide your real feelings. Oh, no, no. I never hide my feelings. I hide my zingers, but I never hide my feelings. I'm not sure. One thing. I mean, don't be afraid to express yourself. Really. Don't, don't. Uh, maybe it's because I'm Italian, but, uh, you know, I, I express myself easily. Like, Cher, I love you. I love you. <laughs> Sniveling coward who liberated her. Honey, I'm home. Oh. Hi, honey. Hi, honey. How you doing? Terrible. I had to fire my secretary today. No kidding. I thought you liked this one. I did, but he wore Bermuda shorts into the office, and of course, nobody got any work done. <laughs> hey, honey. Guess what? What? Hon, huh? I have a big surprise for you. Guess what? What? My dad's coming to stay with us a couple days. <laughs> that fat lax, you just saw him. When are you gonna cut the apron strings? Now, honey, be quiet. Now, be nice to him. You know he's going through the change of life. <laughs> to his room. Honey? Darling? Look, I just came home from work. I'm tired. I wanted to make myself a drink and relax, and all of a sudden I turn into a bellhop. Well, maybe if you were a bellhop, you could make a decent living and support my son the way he should be supported. I'll ignore that. Sure, you ignore it. The truth hurts. Why couldn't she be a lawyer like your sister? <laughs> Uh, what would you like me to do with the other bags? What other bags? The ones under your eyes. <laughs> very funny, Ho. All right, now, honey, that wasn't very nice. Well, what else can you expect when you marry out of your religion? <laughs> All right, now, Dad, you promised. Well, I better go sit down. I'm getting one of my migraines. <laughs> sit down, Dad, really. Just, just relax. All right. You know what, Dad? You ought, you ought to take a vacation. Yeah, why don't you go to the fat farm and give your chins a rest? <laughs> now, honey... That was it. I have been insulted for the last time. Good, then that means we won't be seeing each other again. Oh. All right. Stop at you two. I'm leaving. <laughs> don't you want to rearrange the furniture first? <laughs> 
haven't heard for the last time. No more father-in-law jokes. This is it. But before I leave, let me tell you something, Buster. If you hadn't been drafted, my son never would have married you in the first place. He wasn't in love with you. He was in love with that uniform. <laughs> I'll do anything to make it up for you. I'm so terribly sorry. I didn't mean it. There's just something about that man. He just drives me crazy. I am just sorry now. Well, now, now, control yourself. Okay. Now you're getting palpitations. No, I'm okay. I'll, now, there, I'll, there is one thing you can do. Uh, you name it, sweetheart. Well, well, are, are you sure? I, I'm positive. Anything, let me prove. Well, I thought, well, maybe we could have dinner. Of course, sweetheart. Yes, and then I thought, well, we can... <laughs> we can go into the bedroom. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then, uh, take off our clothes. <laughs> oh, you devil, you. <laughs> and then, maybe you could... Yes, yes? Put on your old uniform. <laughs> She's a honky-tonk woman. Give me, give me, give me the honky-tonk blues. She's a honky-tonk woman. Give me, give me, give me the honky-tonk blues.
before a live audience. This is Peter Cullen speaking.